Nobody understands what a fucked up world it is in there. It, it's fucked up. You can watch it, all the movies. The rules change every day. Oh. Every fucking day. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> it's like running in quicksand, bro. It's like running in quicksand. Just when you think you know what's up, shit changes. Quickly. You know, that's what I keep trying to get across to these damn kids, man. You know what I mean? They think it's... How many kids do you really think from the San Fernando Valley are sitting out there waiting to go to prison, bro? Can't wait to fucking raise their hand to go to prison to get their little, you know, two, three-year term they're hoping. You know what I mean? So they could say they've been to the pen. Because their uncle or somebody else fucking... Yeah, yeah right? Their whole fucking bloodline. What do you mean their uncle? Their whole fucking bloodline has been there, so they got to go, too. You know what I mean? I'm telling them, man. I, that's right of passage. Huh? Right of passage. Fucking yeah. That's what I keep trying to get to the point across to these kids that, man, it's not the business. That's you know what I, mean? I you tell my son. I tell my son the trailer parts where a boy becomes a man. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Hey, you know, like, in my opinion, if you don't go to the service, you should probably go to the pen for about 16 months. Yeah. And that's what my son did. He joined, he, he became a Marine because he knew, see, that that would have been good for me because I'm good for, I'm, I like structure. I'm right. all about that me shit. Too. I like that. Too. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> When I tried to join, I was in the county jail already. Already in trouble. <laughs> I'm out of service. Me too, bro. <laughs> they didn't do that no more. They said, go do your term and then come back and talk to us. I'm yeah. like, why would I do that? I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, though, my boy, you know, because I deal with a lot of the vets, too, out here, getting them off the streets and putting them into a bed, right? Uh -huh. and, and I'm telling you, they come out of there fucked up because they want to get out of Oklahoma. They want to get out of fucking Louisiana. They want to get out of uh, Ohio or wherever. You know what? And it, it ain't even more of so what they fucking did and seen. And what they did and seen just fucked them up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just want to get away. I recently had a vet write me saying, Badger, uh, like I've been having violent episodes and I've been thinking about taking my own life. You know, I get these all the time, bro, right? So, and I read into them how serious they are. And, just, you know, this cat was serious, right? He's all, oh. oh, I, I lost a, my, my best friend, Marine's sister. You know, when we came back, she committed suicide. Yeah. And, you know, he's all, and I just want to fucking hurt everybody. You know what I mean? And he's all, I just want to thank you for your channel. You know what I mean? And, for what you've done for people like me, he goes, because you've shown me the light, and I'm thinking to myself, thank you, Odin, you know what I mean? Thank you, man, for, you know, letting me reach out and touch somebody, bro, because this kid was just so lost that his sister, Marine, came home and killed herself over the shit that she saw, you know what I mean? And she just wanted to get out of Louisiana. Yeah. You know I mean? So. She, she didn't want to see the same people because they're going to talk to her. And she don't want to. She don't want to repeat all that shit over and over again. You know, I'm sure. You know, yeah. all your old friends, you go back and they they, they want to ask you because they're curious and they don't want to. And that's something they're trying to forget. And they can't, bro. Like I said, you know, what I mean, keep people keep replaying all that corrupt shit in their head, especially Marines. Yeah. You know I mean? like, when, yeah. like me and you go yeah. to me and you Jeez. in another life. Fuck out. Me and you in another life go over to. The service, you know, we we're actually doing right by our country, because I'm a, I'm a vet, all right. I'm a vet of fucking domestic wars, not oh, foreign wars. I'm a vet of mayhem. You know what I mean, right? So, <laughs> but I could only imagine, you know, the bond that they have, all that shit, and then they see them blown apart, or their their nugget gets blown out, or something. You know what I mean? And they come home, and that's all they can envision. You know what I mean? And they were just feeling the pressure of of their buddies fucking. Eggshell brain fucking hitting them in the side of the face. You know, gray matter all over their nugget, right? So, yeah. and, and that's what I keep trying to, you know. That plasma is thick. Right. <laughs> Especially from the nugget, bro. You know. Um, Fuck. My God, bro. So, <laughs> it, it's just crazy that, I don't know, man. I get that, that. That comment touched me so bad. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, 
man, I'm so grateful that I do the things that I do. And I'm so grateful for you Patreon members that are watching this right now that help me take members, people off the street and put them in a bed. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm so grateful for them. Because it's a you know huge commitment to me, bro. Man, they should be taken care of off the fucking top. Off the top. Off the top. Off the top. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, and they're not. You know, they're both not. But anyway, I'm not going to go into all that political stuff. You know what I mean? Like, because I'm sure there's some liberals watching. There's some Democrats watching. And, you know what I mean? And and, and I don't care. You know, like. Fucking eat it. Uh, eat it. Say you're <laughs> backing the wrong team. I feel that an armed community is a friendly community. You know what I mean? It's a respectful community. Yeah. Like that. Because everybody knows what the neighbor got. You're right? <laughs> now, I'm not going to put my gums unless it's serious. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, if you know, you know, you know what they call us. They call us one percenters because we walk around strapped all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, hey, hey, fucking old boy, fucking P. Before he passed away, when I first met him, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. And uh, I'm walking around with fucking uh, CC, right? With a fucking 45 Blackhawk strapped to my side like little Joe Cartwright. <laughs> Going into fucking Safeway on Sierra and Soledad. And I pulled it out, yelling at the bitch because I didn't have a plastic boot from our Ben and Jerry's Chunky Monkey ice cream. <laughs> and Pat was in the next row. And fucking, he started busting up. He's all, hey, brother, I'll get you one. That's where I met him. And that fucking thing, he's all, you're off the hook, fool. <laughs> right. Hey, that fucking, and that strap had an eight-inch barrel. I used to tell people, I ain't got to shoot you, fool. I'll pistol whip you from across the street. <laughs> <laughs> you had some nice guns, that's for sure. You know, uh, you know, my son recently went to the feds. Yeah, for, did he go? Yeah, he did. Uh, he's out. He's the best dad I could have. He's a man that I wish I would have been, bro. You know what I mean? I got mad respect for my son. He takes his, my grandson to, to ball practice, karate practice, Everything. motorcycle racing. I see it all. I see it all. You see it all, right? I see yeah. it all on Facebook. I watch it all. I'm like, I'm like, that's right. Doing it. That's my boy right there. You that's know what I mean? Right. Like, he's starting. He, he, I can even show you. I got proof. Hey, he needed, hey, I think he needed that little break. Yeah. I mean, his girl, though. I mean, she still looks at me as if I'm just a cold-blooded, vicious murderer, bro. You know what I mean? She just, she can't stand having me around. She can't but, stand you are. Huh? She can't stand me. And she get the fucking woobie-jooies under her skin when you come she, in. She does. Right. And I try and be as respectful and as courteous. Yeah. Not like when I first met her, you know what I mean? Because I wasn't like that with nobody. You know what I mean? I was a straight prick. You know that. Hey, hey, she would hate me. Because I'm a dickhead. I come up and fucking sneak up in back of her and poke her in the ribs and shit. Ah! Just, <laughs> right? Hey, I'm, we're going to break the fucking ice one way or another. Because <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so, I seen a picture of your mom recently. Here's my mom right here. Can you see her? Yeah, I see her. Where's yeah, she going? man. She's just singing in the car, you know. You know Enjoying we're, we're, herself? Yeah, she, we had some... Uh, we can do pour something like, or coffee. Ah! Dove sing a song. Sounds like she's singing. Uh, ooh, baby, ooh, uh, who's that? Oh fuck no! Anyway, All right. she, I, heard, I heard the plane. Yeah. Anyway, she was just sitting in a way, bro. And I looked over, and that was the first time I had seen her in almost thirty years, bro. You know what I mean, like. I feel like Snoop Dogg right now. I'm high. I see. Uh, <laughs> I seen a. Uh, they set the dinner table, bro. There was four plates there. You know what I mean? And like, you know, I'm pretty callous. I got a pretty calloused heart to where it's hard to make me, you know, get teared up or something like that. You know what I mean? But I seen those four plates there, and I was thinking, man, this is what I missed all those years. You know what I mean? And uh. You know, her husband treated me with respect. You know, uh, she treated me like I was still a 14 year old problem child. You know, um, 
I didn't really know how to act either because it's a little small town, Hickville, Tennessee, you know what I mean, that she moved to. And uh, when we get all fucking choked up. <laughs> hey, uh, so I put, I'm driving my truck down this fucking road up here. And uh, this, this chick, she's getting married. She goes, she goes, and she, she ain't getting married for a fucking year, you know? <laughs> but she's still telling me, hey, if you're not here anymore, I want you to know you're invited to our wedding. It's fucking August. Woo, woo, woo. Uh, I go, August? I go, what, uh, next year? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? That's almost a year away. This is when she told me, right? And, she, and then here's the catch. You need to be here at 6 o'clock. In the morning, and make sure no cars come into the park, because that's where we're having the wedding. But they have no fucking, uh, no uh, permission from the fucking county. Here. But I'm supposed to be security and not let no cars. They want to come into their park. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm like right. Hey, I forgot. Uh, our mutual girl gave me this letter for you, bro. I forgot about that. It's a. Uh, it says, "Hello, cowboy." Uh, hey, Chief, this is the administrator of Pornhub. We have noticed you haven't logged in. Uh, you haven't logged on in a week. We're just checking to make sure everything is okay with your premium membership. It's Since fine. You, I'm, on, I'm on your porn. <laughs> <laughs> Since you visited us last time, we have noticed that you took an interest in the gay videos. We've updated the gay section with many videos we know you will enjoy. So please join us soon. I just wanted to make sure you got the letter. You know I mean? It must have been yours. <laughs> so. Hey, so check this out. So I'm all fucking bored. So I go get on all these dating fucking apps. And I'm sitting there. And I'm, I, I'm just going through. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I got like three going. And I'm going to go back and forth. Back and forth. And. These fucking broads, or whatever the fuck they are, right? They're all, but their pictures banging, and they'll sit. They go, "Can you uh, download my my uh, email to your Hangout app, and we could talk, and I could send you pictures there, so we could get to know each other." All this bullshit, and all these fucking straight fucking hardcore fucking pulling my asshole apart. Fucking pictures are fucking coming at me, right? And then. And it'll go on for like a week or so. Now that they, they're acting like you're, they're your girlfriend. Now they want some money. <laughs> yeah. And then they go, oh, my phone's going to get turned off. Can you go to Walmart and go buy me a gift card from fucking uh, Amazon or some shit? I'm like, yeah, I'll be right back. I'll call yeah. you. Wait right there. Wait That's, right there. And then I go, block it. Bam. And I'm listening. I, then I block their fucking number. That's it. And I go find me another hooker that's going to send me a whole bunch of pictures of the fucking asshole, too. <laughs> it's fucking dumbass bitches. 